Hey, Smokestack fans, Johnny C. from New Jersey. This is part two of the wet stacking issue with this uh, Onin 12.0, uh, 15.0 DJC. Uh, there was a lot of discussion after I posted the uh, first video on the forum as to, you know, possibilities, what we could do to minimize uh, the issue here. Uh, the bottom line is this, these diesels, they will wet stack when uh, they're lightly loaded or no loaded for extended period of time. Uh, some people had reported back that they seen uh, black liquidy stuff all over the place. Other people may not have been aware of the issue, but nonetheless, uh, originally the exhaust pipe and the muffler were mounted here, which was directly, uh, let's see if we got enough light here, uh, into the exhaust manifold, coming straight down. Uh, basically what was happening is that the uh, liquid from the wet stacking that accumulated in the muffler during the runtime was draining back down into the exhaust manifold and over periods of time it's going to end up in the ports and it's going to create a mess so what we did here we flipped the manifold the exhaust manifold 180 degrees again it's going to be hard to see this uh where now we have uh the exit part of the exhaust manifold go coming straight down all right and across and up okay it's not going to solve the wet stacking problem but what's going to happen is that any of the liquid from the wet stacking is not going to drain back into the exhaust manifold into the exhaust ports of the head create a mess it's basically going to end up down in here and eventually blow out hopefully uh we was suggested to put a little weep hole at the bottom i don't know if the camera's going to catch this or not yeah it's kind of hard to focus but uh you can probably see it right over here somewhere I can't get in underneath there, but basically it's an eighth inch hole. Uh, these things are noisy as it is, so it's not going to really add much to any noise. Uh, but any uh, liquid will end up draining out of there. I guess it's also a safeguard too. So let's say, for example, if I had this set outside and uh, this flapper happened to hang open or whatever rainwater got into the uh, muffler, it's going to end up in here and hopefully drain out of the weep hole. We've seen countless numbers of times where uh, you would have a muffler uh, mounted vertically coming straight up out of the top of the uh, set. And this is also on the uh, all J-series sets. Uh, water gets in, into the uh, muffler, goes into the exhaust manifold, into the heads, into the cylinder, and over time the engine is done. So actually... This little mod right here that I've done is uh, twofold for wet stacking and also safeguard from any water getting into the uh, motor. This design right here uh, is actually seen on some of the RDJCs. Okay, I found that out after I did this. Uh, it's a 180 bend, okay. On the RDJCs, uh, it's more of a uh, sharper uh, 180. Uh, with the liquid cooled uh, RDJCs, you didn't have the uh, air shutters uh, with wind blowing out, you know, for cooling purposes, so that was okay. I just had to get the uh, muffler out of the way of the shutters here. So uh, we had to create a bracket to support this uh, muffler system, which isn't really all, all that heavy. So uh, as you can probably see right here, we got a nice uh, bracket. Of course, uh, you know, over time, it's going to get hot this paint's going to peel over here no big deal we'll just paint that high heat black but the main thing is the functionality of this bracket it's going to support it both vertically and horizontally it's strong okay okay all that shaking is me with the camera but this is strong all right i'm pulling on this thing i'm pulling the whole set okay so uh you could bang this thing i mean if you're going to do damage uh where the bracket's going to bend you're going to do other damage to the set as well but anyway, it's all set to, to rock and roll, so uh, I haven't fired it up yet. Uh, one thing I want to point out, we're going to have to make some other mods now that we have this exhaust system rerouted. I can't fit my battery onto the uh, battery tray that I made, okay? Because as you can see, the pipe comes down close to it. So I'm going to end up taking this and relocating it over here. I'll have to weld a, a cross member for support. No big deal. Take care of that next week uh also i have to watch out for the wires over here all right i got this cable right here okay 
for the starter goes in back of the uh, exhaust pipe it's fairly close okay probably got a couple inches okay but uh oh boy sorry about that uh we got some insulation on the wires i also have exhaust pipe heat wrap okay which i'm going to probably put onto this pipe as well all right just to protect the starter there, there's there's a lot of room between the pipe and the starter i don't think there's going to be any issues but nonetheless we could take care of that but we'll clean all that up later on when we uh relocate the battery to over there so we're going to give this a shot, see how it works out. I don't want to get it too hot, but I'd like to see what's going to happen if it starts wet stacking. So I'm going to start this thing up, let it run for a few minutes. Uh, oh, one other thing I want to point out. Some people may say, well, hey, this uh, bracket that I fabricated, it's not really bolted into anything structurally sound because this uh, flywheel cover right here around the perimeter, you got these uh, bolts right here and basically... They go into uh, the adjoining uh, sheet metal uh, with these little clips right here. That ain't going to offer much uh, strength. However, there's one bolt right here that's like to the, to, to the left of these other bolts right here. That goes into the uh, solid part, okay? Uh, so I'm going to have full support of the bracket off of that. Also on the top part, this bracket, I fabricated it so that uh, it bolts into the uh, lift bar points so you know that's probably one of the strongest points on this set everything is welded uh we use Elmer's glue but don't say anything but uh it's going to hold together good all right so let's get this thing going let's see what happens i'm interested to see when this thing starts what kind of shaking we get out of it all right just like last time we got this thing on a transfer switch it makes it nice and easy uh the way i get this thing going i just kill the breaker uh the glow plugs are going to activate you're going to hear a high-pitched sound Basically, it's just telling me that there's power going to the glow plugs and get the hell out of the way because something's going to happen. So let me do this. Let me kill the uh, breaker. All right. In a couple seconds, you're going to hear the high-pitched sound. Right now, we have nothing going here. Here we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus in on the sound. I'm going to try to hold this thing still. Okay. So hang in there.
see a little bit of brown on it, okay? But it's not wet stacking. The wet stacking fluid is like a dark black, all right? Uh, so I cannot get this to wet stack today. I don't know why. I guess that's a good thing, but uh, why not today? But yet I had no problems many times in the past. But again, the temperature was much colder with a different uh, exhaust configuration. Uh, I am running unloaded. Okay, I'll show you the meters too when I get in there. You can see the shutters are, when I get closer, you'll see the shutters a little bit better than standing far away. They're not uh, fully open. They're only partially open, just a little bit. Okay, so the set is not really all that hot. I don't have my uh, uh, thermal imaging tool with me. Uh, I really don't need it. doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, I don't know what to say. It's not wet stacking. What I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to shut down the set. And maybe if there's anything in the muffler that hasn't come down, okay, because of the uh, exhaust uh, pressure against it, uh, maybe it'll come down and come out the weep hole. So uh, we'll do that, okay? Uh, so let me walk in there. Okay, I have the caution tape over here. I have the whole area roped off because I actually left the area because I wasn't going to stand here for an hour and a half. I didn't want anybody walking in. You know, I got tenants in this place. If they walk in uh, and they touch the wrong thing, probably they're going to get burned more than electrocuted. <laughs> they think, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk into the set. I'm going to show you the meters. I'm going to show you that it's unloaded. We're going to look at the shutters. We're going to look at the white rag down at the bottom. I'll show you what has come out which is nothing, and I guess what I'm going to end up doing is shut down the set and uh, sit back for a few minutes and uh, see if anything back drains out the little weep hole at the bottom of the exhaust pipe. All right, here we go. You know, I'm going to need GPS pretty soon to get into this garage. All right. Uh, got to lose some weight here. I'm trying to get through this. All right, first we're going to take a look at our meters. You're going to see that we're running unloaded. All right. The amp meters are uh, down at zero. That's looking pretty good. All right. There's our hours. Okay, good. All right, you're going to see the shutters. They're not really open all that much. And I'm going to get a close-up of that white rag down here that has uh, the brown stuff. It's not wet stacking. Is like right up there. All right, so uh, that's probably normal. All right, I feel the I feel the uh, uh, exhaust coming out. Okay, again, it's a one eighth inch hole. I think that was a great idea that somebody recommended to put that weep hole in there. All right, so uh, I don't see any sense to go any further. It's not going to wet stack, at least not today. Uh, maybe I just don't understand the full principle of wet stacking. Uh, again. You know, what are the differences? We got a different exhaust system, but I don't think that's going to matter. And uh, today it's uh, much uh, warmer outside than in the past. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down the camera after I turn on the breaker, go on grid power. Okay, grid power came back on. It's going to wait a couple of minutes. Right now it's in a cool down mode. Even though there's no load, you know, the transfer switch is going to do its thing. And I'm going to cut out the camera and uh, come back uh, with uh, hopefully uh, some information regarding anything that may back drain out of the exhaust through that little weep hole. All right, so just hang in there. Well, it's been about a half an hour since I shut down the uh, DJC and I uh, wanted to see what would uh, drain back from the uh, vertical muffler down through the weep hole underneath and end up on the rag and nothing zero and uh, this is the lowest spot of the exhaust so anything that uh, would have gotten pushed out of the oh, out of the uh, exhaust manifold which is back in there it came down the pipe or anything that would have drained back into here would have came out the weep hole and uh, nothing I mean it's dry so uh, <laughs> Apparently today this thing did not wet stack. I don't know why. Uh, again, what's what's the differences between today and the previous test where I was able to easily get this thing to wet stack? The weather. Again, today it was warm, close to 70. In the past, we're talking 32 max down into the 20s. So uh, would that have a big effect? I don't know. 
uh, the redesign of the uh, exhaust, would that uh, have solved the issue? I don't know, but definitely it's not wet stacking today. Tried my best. I don't know. I guess I should probably be happy about that. Uh, I didn't load this thing up, but uh, it seemed to run fine. No problems whatsoever. I was even surprised that my paint didn't even peel off this, okay? I just painted that yesterday. But uh, I'm sure once I uh, put a load on this thing and this thing really heats up, that paint will probably burn on the clamp area, which is no big deal. As I uh, mentioned earlier in the video, I'll just uh, strip that down and paint it high heat black. The rest of the bracket will leave uh, green, on and green. So anyway, so that's about it. I tried my best to get this thing to wet stack. Uh, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it at all. Uh, maybe we'll have to wait until next winter when it gets down into the 20s and see what happens. So until then, you all take care. This is Johnny C. from New Jersey. I'm going to enjoy the nice weather that we're having now. It's about time.